So let's say that you want to make your video much more interactive and you want to use zoom and pan in your video recording. So to add them all manually will take a bit of time. So to make it easier, what you can use is use something called smart focus, which actually zooms in and pans in around according to the movement of your mouse on your screen. So to do that, first you have to go around onto the uh, canvas options onto your uh, project settings and then go around onto the canvas dimension. So this video was recorded in 1080p. So it, the, the, the smart focus option won't actually work out. So you have to choose somewhere lower um, around from it. So let's say, for example, I'm going to choose uh, Instagram look right over here because let's say, for example, this is for Instagram and apply that out. So now what I can do is I can use the smart focus option and drag it onto the video clip just like this. And according to the mouse movement, you can see that the animations has been added in. So if I were to play this around, you can see that this is what it focuses on right now. And as the mouse actually moves out, the screen will move along just like that. And it goes around just like that, as you can see right there. So you can see that the mouse moves around onto the home, the different tabs right there. And as the mouse moves around, the panning happens all automatically just like that. So someone is typing right there and you can see that that is how it works out. And as the mouse moves again, it goes on to the next part. The animation is there again. You can see that the mouse moves. It just moves around just like that. Of course, it is not perfect, but it is much more interesting than what you'd have if uh, um, what you'd have, what would you have if uh, that showing like, let's say, for example, uh, default screen, even if the target audience is in a smaller screen like that. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.